Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gents. This is the Silver Stacking Dad here. I uh, just created this new YouTube channel to keep individuals informed on silver stacking and all silver and gold related content. Uh, the new information that I'm coming across today to inform you about is, uh, you know, is silver the most undervalued asset in the world? Uh, a lot of people are talking about it. To me recently have just uh, started stacking uh, beginning of this year. Uh, so I'm trying to enlighten others to do the same, showing them that investing in hard physical assets such as silver and gold uh, will preserve your wealth, but also possibly hedge against inflation that a lot of people are talking about right now. So I'm just going to go over a little bit with you, kind of give you the rundown of what I do here. Uh, we're looking at today's spotless price, uh, you know, 2736 currently. I'm going to give an update. We're getting hit pretty hard, you know, at about uh, 0.46 down. Uh, as you can tell, uh, but you know, I, I do feel again this is just uh, going to rally back up, uh, and then we'll be back up to that uh, 28 mark. Uh, you know, hopefully even uh, up to the 30. But if we keep going down, that's more opportunities to buy more silver. Uh, never forget that. You know, this is a long hold game here. Uh, this isn't something that you're going to get rich overnight with. Uh, this is something uh, to preserve your wealth and to hedge against inflation of the devaluation of the dollar. So uh, that's most important when getting into this. This isn't uh, you know big stocks when you're messing with physical silver. Uh, however, it could uh, you know be profitable in the future, uh, but at the present moment, it's, uh, it's still a, a waiting game here. So I'm gonna go over a little bit. You know, like I mentioned, the physical most undervalued asset on the planet is silver and I uh, will go over a little bit about why and why others believe this uh, this was uh, from crypto vibes um, physical silver becomes the most undervalued asset gold and silver mines shut down this is from April 4 so not too long ago uh, you know almost rolling on on two months uh, it just goes over and mentions that an explosion in the number of coronavirus cases uh, coupled with an expansion of economic lockdowns have caused a massive surge in unemployment claims this week. Uh, and this has continued. You know, this is uh, huge. Uh, everyone's getting displaced uh, from their homes, their jobs. Uh, it's pretty bad out there. Uh, if you don't see it, then, uh, you know, get out, drive around, take a look. Talk to your friends and family. Uh, they'll enlighten you on what's going on too. Uh, has it's been a major week for commodity markets? Uh, oil prices posted their biggest single-day percentage gain, uh, gaining at least 25%. You know, it speaks upon the stimulus package and how much money they're printing off. Uh, more money uh, that's been printed off in the last year about 40 percent I think more dollars uh, if I'm accurate on that figure uh, than what was in existence before. Uh, you know, it talks about the oil markets uh, here the main issue that allegedly affecting the oil markets is pandemic driven demand destruction uh, again you know that I think that's bouncing back up but it talks about the supply and demand that's the hugest thing uh, that I can tell you about uh, in the uh, same manner, supply and demand pressures face the base metals and precious metals mining industry. Many mines around the world, including those in South A America and South Africa, are currently closed down due to the coronavirus. The mining industry was already in distress even before the pandemic. All that happened as a result of low market prices for the metals. So it was so low that they had no incentive of mining silver you know uh, there was no reason to mine it directly because it would have cost uh, more to focus on mining silver it's a byproduct uh, of mining gold uh, and other metals uh, so here it says it suggested that it makes more business sense to hold on to the silver assets that companies have right now instead of selling them into the market at extremely depressed prices uh, 2020 could see a record decline in mining supply for silver 
and many other metals. Although the crude oil market entered this year with a supply glut uh, that has so far continued to grow uh, as well. So, uh, you know, it just talks about there that uh, there's no reason for them to sell at the price that it's at. Uh, scarcity. You know, it is possible that there might not be enough gold and silver above ground to go around. Uh, you know, I, I've heard that uh, if each person were to own silver, uh, you'd have like a third of an ounce, you know, a half dollar worth of silver for everyone. Uh, so that's not very much silver, you know, above ground right now, and, and, and possibly could even be a lot less than that if uh, the figures are correct. Uh, you know, that, that's a high possibility. Uh, but let me go into the one big thing here is, you know, they talked about supply and demand. There's much more demand, uh, a lot less supply. So, you know, we come over here and we look at, well, what is some of the industrial usages of silver? You know, and, and I'm going to go over to, uh, you know, areas here. Some of this may go back over, you know, this one talks about photographic silver use used to represent... Uh, you know about 25 percent of the total fabrication of photo generation there uh, but now over the years since uh, you know more digital photographs uh, things like that you have a 20 percent of total demand fell down to nine percent by 2013 so a lot less there uh, but uh, you know we we now have a, a industrial demand for solar energy silver demand that's growing i uh, also has some medicine usages as well uh, but i'm going to go over the 101 usages here that's uh, silvercoins.com it posted uh, at some point doesn't have a date on it uh, but definitely very good uh, literature here uh, kind of gives you a rundown of everything silver sulfa diazine used as a tropical cream to prevent burns uh, as well. So it, it made uh, World Health Organization's list of essential medicines as an anti-infective medicine. Uh, treat, treats warts and corns, usually in the form of uh, a caustic pencil. The silver compound, silver nitrate, is widely used. Uh, silver coat foley, it's used in radiology. It's also used in bandages and dressing, uh, as well as surgical mesh. Uh, you have uh, prevent cavities, uh, silver diamine fluoride, uh, silver needles and sutures, silver bearing coatings, dental fillings. You have NASA utilizing silver ions. You have hospital tap water filters water purification in third world countries you know and this will continue to grow uh, as well as uh, you know water becomes more available to these countries uh, as well colloidal silver very big use I use this quite often uh, when I start to feel ill or feel like I'm uh, getting a cold or the flu uh, I can even treat ear infections to name a few uh, very good sovereign silver I highly recommend this stuff uh, antimicrobial lab coats, you know, cauterizing agents, silver nano wire biosensors uh, can fight E. coli, uh, an antidote and mercury poisoning, uh, help stop smoking, as well as surface disinfectants, kills fungus in the nail bed, surgical masks, earthing sheets, water, soft drinks and juice cans, door handles, uh, as well as aid and drug delivery, circuit board contacts, speaker wires, RF connectors, RFED tags, as well as railway switch gears, keyboard skins, smart textiles, media storage, and of course the big thing here, solar panels, uh, which contain up to 20 grams of silver each. Uh, so that's quite a bit of silver for, you know, just a solar panel there. Uh, double pane windows, silver oxide batteries, silver zinc batteries, thermal and infrared telescopes, fuel cells, control rods, and nuclear reactors. Uh, oddly tests in museums, silver staining and microscopy work, silver acts as a catalyst, 
uh, wood uh, preservation, which is uh, really good. You know, stops the wood from rotting away. Uh, it's effective in reducing termites. So, uh, you know, the wood prices that are skyrocketing, uh, this is a good way to preserve that wood to make it last a lot longer. Uh, explosives fall as well. Uh, weather modification, you know, things that people, uh, you know, don't believe that's happening, but is silver oxide, or silver iodide, sorry, is often used for weather modification, such as cloud seeding, making it rain in areas of climate that normally wouldn't rain uh, to help the crops, uh, you know, things such as that, uh, kind of creates or dry ice. 3D printing, powder coatings, semiconductors, helicopter bearings, uh, photography, which we went over a little bit there, uh, use in mirrors, jewelry, silverware, stained glass, coins, of course, as we all know who are here, uh, swimming pool, purification, food containers, uh, washing machines, windows, car engine bearings, brazing and soldering, windshields, ice making machines, uh, and the list goes on guys this is like I said one of the most undervalued assets on the planet that we use in everyday care uh, and lives uh, so definitely going to be a lot more increases of this use uh, as well as more people buy it up and uh, these industrial companies need it very much so to keep uh, everything going the way it is uh, we have pillowcases and beddings, footwear, denture cleaners, toothbrushes, nursing bottles, bioware, uh, hunting and military wear, uh, laundry detergent, baby wipes, musical instruments, antifreeze, ultrasonic humidifiers, uh, even in your UFC apparel, <laughs> you know, cabinetry, and silver bullets. So just a uh, kind of list goes on and on and on. Uh, but you know that's the industrial use that we use every day so quite a bit there uh, but the biggest thing you know and this talks about inflation here you know the reaches a three month highs inflation grows uh, fear grows so silver's been increasing people have been buying it up uh, as well and then we have the biggest thing gold to silver ratio uh, you know they say let me pull this up here that Stochast talks about the silver's 12 month performance is up to about 60% since last February 28th. Silver remains one of the most undervalued assets, investments that can be bought today. Regardless of what asset, asset class that you compare it to, silver offers better value to investors right now than almost anything else. Uh, so that shows you that it's huge to get in while you can. Uh, the other thing is here is the mining ratio uh, is the number of ounces of silver mined for every ounce of gold mined. So today the ratio is somewhere around 8 to 1. So that shows you that for every 8 ounces of gold mined, 1 ounce of silver is mined. Uh, so if you were to compare that, the current ratio of silver to gold is 67.59 uh, so that shows you that you know it's complete the, the amount difference is completely off from what is actually mined from the ground uh, so it shows you that it's a lot more scarce than they would like you to believe uh, and that the price difference from gold to silver is way disconnected uh, it has no uh, no connection there on actual value which is good for us right because we can buy more of it uh, but let me go back here to kind of give you guys the rundown of that. So the 67.59, if I were to go and pull up this calculator here, let me get it going for you. You know, this is all new to me here, so I'm trying to find a way to get there. we go. Let's see here. There. So I got the calculator pulled up. So let's go and find out what current gold prices. So we go look at the current gold price. So we're looking at down here 1800, right? 1869. Let's just round up, right? So 1900. So we go 1900. And we divide that by the 8 to 1 ratio. So, you know, 
8. So we go by 8. And that shows you that silver should be around, you know, $237, $240, right, an ounce. Uh, so a lot different than the $27 an ounce uh, amount that they're telling us now. You know, and that's what just some believe. Some believe it may even be worth higher uh, just due to the fact that there's a lot less uh, than they would like us to believe that's available above ground. Uh, and this could change, you know, the more technology comes out, the more these mines start to open back up. Uh, but as demand has increased quite a bit, uh, that shows you that the, the sky's the limits uh, as long as people such as you and I continue to buy the silver. Uh, but yeah, that just shows the disconnect there at the 67.59 gold to silver ratio. Um, but you know the biggest thing too is this US debt clock here. You know this is huge. Uh, we've got USA number one, right, guys? Woo! Uh, Twenty-eight trillion dollars in national debt. But look here, man. Japan's not too far off. Uh, Fourteen trillion dollars. So they're printing off a lot of money too. Uh, a lot of IOUs, uh, and it shows. Uh, but yeah, let's see here if it'll let me. I'll just go to US debt clock. Yeah, there we are. So, the biggest thing is dollar to silver ratio now. $4,779. Uh, so that shows you that for every ounce of silver, there is $4,779 in existence compared to the ounce. Uh, so quite a bit there. From back in 1913, it was only $2.65. Uh, as well as the dollar to gold ratio, much, much higher. Uh, as well than the current $1,800 price. Uh, but yeah, so uh, paper to silver ratio shows for every one ounce of silver, there is 186 paper ounces that is sold. Uh, so not enough silver to go around uh, for what they have sold. Uh, so that shows you that if you don't hold it, you don't own it. You may hear that from time to time from several people, and that's never been more true. Uh, so yeah, kind of giving you a rundown of that. Uh, but, you know, if you believe and uh, like the same information I've provided today, I would highly recommend uh, like, commenting, and subscribing to this channel. Share it to your friends and family. Have them go out, try to invest. Uh, also recommend checking out Wall Street Silver. Uh, this is a Reddit group. Uh, very big. Uh, a lot of good guys. A lot of good YouTubers. Uh, trying to get the word out to have people invest. Uh, I like sharing some memes here. These are memes I've created. Uh, but Silver Stacking Dad. You can find me there. Always sharing some memes. Engaging with the community. I like to talk with them, find other things that show of interest. Uh, but yeah, come join us, come check it out. Uh, you know, Silver Stacking Dad, if you catch me on there, say hey. Uh, but if not, you know, hopefully others will soon follow just as much. Uh, you know, these are just common silver alo uh, alos, alloys <laughs> and their markings. Uh, you know, kind of give me an idea of what to look for if you're looking for other uh, types of silver out there. Uh, you know, coins, uh, silver plated, uh, you know, full uh, silver, uh, continental silver, uh, sterling silver, or 925, uh, as well as uh, Britannia silver, or 950. Uh, so something to look out for if you're in the market. But I highly recommend trusted bullion dealers uh, on the internet. There's quite a bit out there. I'm not going to advertise any at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you coming and checking out my video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe below. And I hope to see you around. I appreciate it. And you have a good rest of the day. Take it easy.